It took two long years, but it is finally here. Mayweather jumping from the boxing ring to the racetrack. What is up, everyone? My name is Jed. This is Inside Lions. Hope you're all having a wonderful Tuesday afternoon. We have had a doubleheader today. If you haven't already, we talked about in an earlier episode some stories regarding JTG and its future in NASCAR. A little Cash Nevis interested in NASCAR. If you haven't already, there'll be a card on the top right of your screen. If you've watched it, then you're up to date. We have one story, and it's a big one regarding the money team racing now the money team racing has been at least in the loop in the nascar community since november 2019 i believe it was when it came out of the blue that they were going to make their debut race at homestead that didn't happen then a couple weeks ago by adam stern reported that the money team racing is going to be looking like is going to be part of the daytona 500 with kaz Grala as the driver but today we finally had an official announcement we had a car a number a sponsor and a driver. Now, yes, we do know that Kaz Grala will be the driver of the number 50 car. That has already been well established. But then we got a look of the car. Pit Viper is going to be sponsoring the cars. They're known for their polarized sunglasses. Um, and might I say, that is the ugliest looking race car I think I've ever seen. Like, it, <laughs> I don't know if you noticed, but like the show called Gravity Falls, and there was a scene where a gnome was throwing up rainbow. It looks like the gnome threw up rainbow on the car and that's what happened or a rainbow threw up on a car that's what it looks like i mean <laughs> i mean there is no smooth transition from the light blue up top to the purple red and yellow on the side of the car and then the yellow just stops randomly goes back to blue i mean it looks like a mess don't get me wrong it stands out but not in a good way but regardless it is finally here, officially made that the Money Team Racing will compete in the Daytona 500 with Kaz Grala as the driver. And there have been also some other key notes that came along with this announcement. Number one, there will be a part-time car, at least for this year. I thought for a sliver of a moment, I thought maybe they might do this as a one-time thing and then maybe see if this is a good investment. But they will be competing in numerous races this season, although it has not been announced how many races they will compete or if Kaz Grala will be their driver for all of those races. Number two, Tony Uri Jr., who of course, if you know him, he was part with DEI in the early 2000s with Dale Jr. They had so much success, especially on the plate tracks, will serve as the crew chief for the number 50 team on top of the pit box and Starcom Racing. If you remember, a few weeks ago, they posted a picture on their Twitter page saying coming soon. And a lot of people assume that are they going to come back at least in a part-time status? Well, yes and no. They are going to come back in a part-time status, but the owners of Starcom Racing are actually investing into the team. So, yeah, they're technically back, but not really. Also be using ECR engines to run their Daytona 500 car. And with this announcement, this now opens up the Daytona 500 entry list to 42, at least at 41 confirmed, possibly 42. We have 36 cars that are confirmed. They're going to be locked into the 500 due to the charter system. But then we have six open cars. You have Noah Gregson with Beer Motorsports, Timmy Hill uh, with MBM Motorsports, Jacques Villeneuve with Team Hesburgh, um, and then you also have JJ Yaley with MBN. We talked about that a couple days ago. And now with this announcement with Kaz Grala and the Money Team Racing. Now, there is a possible sixth one with Greg Biffle and NY Racing that has been speculated for some time, although no announcement has been made. But we do know at the very least that we will have more than uh, we have 42 cars in the field. So or at the very least more than 40. So the duels are going to matter. <laughs> one or two cars will go home after Thursday's duel event, which is nice that we actually get to see. Um, some competition, some drivers having to fight their way into the 500 instead of what it looked like to be just 40 cars just driving around and the duels having no purpose because no one's going to get knocked out. Now, the fact that we do have more open cars in the field than the entry list requires, we're going to see some competition in Thursday's duel races, which is always entertaining to see. Now, the announcement was made in Las Vegas, Nevada, where Mayweather uh, prom Promotions is held at, and Mayweather himself commented on the announcement of the, him participating in NASCAR. He says that he loves fast cars and he loves to compete. He knows that NASCAR will not be easy, but anything easy isn't worth doing to me. With that being said, this move into auto racing seems to be a perfect fit for the Mayweather brand. Now, I don't know why, but I've, I, think I think I've said this in previous videos that I was under the impression that the money team racing was just going to be Mayweather's brand 
license. If, if for example, uh, let's say like a basketball arena, they have they give away their licenses. A company sponsors the arena. Yes, they are technically part of the team, but they're not you know dealing with you know player trading and all of this stuff. That's what I assume this would be. That Mayweather just allowed his name to be or his brand to be a part of the team, but he would have real no affiliation to it because unlike Michael Jordan, where we've known that he has been thinking about being a team owner in the past and he loves nascar he's a big nascar fan mayweather i had no idea he was even really into racing <laughs> so that's why i assume that okay he's probably going to be just doing this as a licensing deal but he apparently is going to be a part owner so he's going to be in the thick of things which is really awesome to see the past two years the new owners have come into nascar are a complete 180 of some of the old owners. I mean, look at the new owners that have come into the sport. Colleague Racing, Team Hesburgh, a European team from the NASCAR Rail and Euro Series. Michael Jordan coming in the sport. Pitbull in the sport. And now Floyd Mayweather in the sport. I mean, just to keep in mind, NASCAR has long been affiliated with being, or at least having a lack of diversity in the sport. And now we have more black owners in the sport than the NFL and the NBA. <laughs> I don't know why, but I just find that very interesting that... The league, or the, a sport that has barely any black people in it, has more black owners than the NFL and the, and the NBA combined. Another question that I have about this announcement is, why the long wait? Because remember, they first made the announcement that they were going to compete in NASCAR back in November 2019. To now February 2022, <laughs> nearly three years. Why the long wait? Well, William Akmudi, who is a who has been you know involved with Mayweather Promotions and has been a longtime member of the NASCAR community, he gave a statement. He says that this deal has been a long time coming, and we are finally at the starting line. Every time we thought we would be able to hit the track, something happened, including a global pandemic. Uh, obviously, yeah, it makes sense that the pandemic did uh, hurt at least new teams coming into the sport, uh, but. So I always find it funny how it took three years. Yes, even though a pandemic happened, I mean, still you had Michael Jordan start a new team and uh, Pitbull and Trackhouse. But <laughs> it's still, I, I've always thought, thought that was kind of funny how it took three years to when b between when you first made an announcement that you were going to compete in a NASCAR race to now you actually competing in a NASCAR race. But yeah, overall, I'm extremely happy. I mean, Floyd May Mayweather is a huge celebrity, a global celebrity. Everyone knows him. So having him coming into NASCAR is going to bring a lot of eyes to the sport, a lot of new eyes to the sport, maybe from the boxing scene. Um, also to have another black owner, more diversity in the sport, always lovely to see. Kaz Grala, I've always said that Kaz Grala, he is an underrated talent and deserves to be, at least have a full-time ride, I think in the Xfinity series, instead of just a part-time ride. So nice to see him get some cup experience and compete in the 500 for the second time in his career. Nice to see a new team being part of the sport and nice to see that the entry list will now have duels actually mean something on Thursday instead of just, you know, the 20 cars or so just running around knowing they're all gonna make the 500 no matter what. But again, the only issue is this paint scheme. My God, is it horrible. <laughs> it is, again, it stands out, but in the worst way possible. It's an abomination, but but yeah, that's gonna conclude this episode of Inside Lines. What are your thoughts uh, from today's story regarding the money team racing? I know Floyd, went, Floyd Mayweather has had a pretty shaky pass, so I'm very curious to hear your thoughts on that. Um, and yeah, again, this just makes me more excited for the 500, seeing new teams coming into the sport. It's a lot of good things are happening with NASCAR. And we got the clash coming up in five days, four or five days at Daytona 500 next Sunday. Uh, ooh, ooh, is getting excited. I'm super excited for this season and for the future of NASCAR because who knows? We maybe have new owners come into the sport. You never know. Uh, who would have had on their bucket list? Imagine this. Who would have had on their bucket list even three years ago? Pitbull, Floyd Mayweather, Michael Jordan in NASCAR, and Jimmy Johnson and IndyCar. Who had that on their on their list in 2019? <laughs> Much less even 10 years ago. We, we, none of us would have expected this even three years ago. But anyways, that's it. Thank y'all so much for watching. My name is Jet, and I'll see y'all next time.